Health is the greatest gift. Contentment, the greatest wealth. Faithfulness, the best relationship. The world is full of diamonds and gems and we are having some of them here today to make this event more beautiful. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. The Gampaha Vikramarachi University of Indigenous Medicine, the 16th National University of Sri Lanka, has brought unique degree programs to the Sri Lankan higher education system. The Department of Technology, the Faculty of Indigenous Health Sciences and Technology, offers one demanding degree program, the Bachelor of Health Science Honours in Biomedical Technology. So, we are the very first Bachelor of Bachelor of Health Science Honours in Biomedical Technology. We are happy to host the World Diabetes Day Celebration, Step to Cure 22. At this very moment, we would like to thank founding and former Vice Chancellor, Her Excellency, Ambassador of Sri Lanka to the Russian Federation, Senior Professor Jan Bai Lungi. Without her, we are not here today. So, we would like to warmly thank you, Madam, for being our Iron Woman. This is very first Diabetes Day celebration organized in the history of the Gampaha Vikramarachi University of Indigenous Medicine. World Diabetes Day provides an opportunity to raise awareness of diabetes as a global public health issue and what needed to be done. Collectively, individually, for better prevention, diagnosis and management of the condition. World Diabetes Day was first introduced in 1991 when it was founded by both the International Diabetes Federation and the World Health Organization. In reaction to the rise in cases of diabetes worldwide, it was decided that a day of the year should be chosen and dedicated to raising awareness about diabetes related health concerns and potential causes. This year's theme, Access to Diabetes Education, underpin the large multi-year theme of Access to Care. It's time to get connected with the ways to observe World Diabetes Day. Therefore, we are so delighted to welcome you all to Step to Cure 22 as very first batch of Bachelor of Health Science Honors in Biomedical Technology. Light is a symbol of brightness and prosperity. As sunlight expels the darkness of mind, similarly blessings bring in our life prosperity and happiness. To make this morning a blessed by seeking the choices blessing, for the same, we would like to invite the following dignitaries to light the oil lamp. Dr. Gani Sonasena, endocrinologist, Gampadi Shri Kanchanpur Hospital, Professor Ranjan Vikramasenaviyadna, Vice Chancellor, Gampaha Vikramaraj University of Indigenous Medicine, Mr. B. A. M. Prashanda, Adishtar, Mr. C. G. Kottanavala, Bursala, Dr. N. T. B. Matishanka, D. Faculty of Indigenous Health Science and Technology, Dr. G. K. Jayapilaka, D. Faculty of Social Science and Management Studies, Dr. Ms. W. J. Vikramaraj, D. Faculty of Indigenous Medicine, Dr. W. A. L. Chandra Sirivali Vatta, Dean, Faculty of Graduate Studies. And we would like to invite Dr. Y. H. P. S. S. Patratna, Head of the Department, Department of Technology, Dr. Ranuka Hevade, Head of the Department, Department of Indigenous Medical Resources, Dr. D. A. Indi Darnagama, Senior Lecturer, Department of Technology, Lieutenant Colonel Dr. P. G. A. P. Palevatta, Senior Lecturer, Department of Technology, Ms. B. L. K. Balasudhya, Lecturer, Department of Technology. Mrs. I. U. Vijay Tungarachi, Assistant Registrar, Faculty of Indigenous Health Science and Technology. Also, we would like to invite members of our Step to Cure Organizing Committee, Sean Kapubadu and Pamodya Udari.
and also we would like to invite Mr. D. S. R. Vijayvarthana, Senior Assistant Registrar. And Ms. Tujaruga, Head of the Department. Please remain standing to pay your respect to the university and
Thank you all. As the role model of our department, he is a person who is an inspiration to all. He has given us the path to follow to make our dreams reality and given the firm foundation for all young ones. I would like to invite Dr. Y. H. P. S. S. Padiratna, head of our technology department, to address the gathering and deliver the welcome address. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So, as a head of the uh, department, I must congratulate your uh, tireless effort to make this event success. And I am very proudly standing here because of uh, your effort to uh, make this event a success. So, every uh, November 14, World Diabetic Day uh, is uh, uh, commemorated which is an opportunity to raise awareness about the impact of diabetes on the health of people. As we know, it is a, a non-communicable uh, non disease, which is say, spreading like a communicable disease. And also, uh, the, I, I would like to uh, upload the motion of highlighting the emerging technology uh, in tackling this uh, disease. Also, this day will help to they raise the awareness and take the preventive measures for this one. So, on that remark, I my duty is to welcome all the uh, dignitaries. First, I would like to welcome uh, Professor Anjana Vikramasenaviratna, the Vice Chancellor of Gampa Vikramar University of Indigenous Medicine, and also Dr. Gayani Samarasinga, endocrinologist, Gampa District and uh, General Hospital. Also, uh, Mr. B. A. N. Krishanth, Registrar, G. W. U. I. M. Also, Mr. C. G. Kotala, Versa, uh, G. W. U. I. M. Also, Mr. Uh, sorry, Dr. Uh, N. T. P. Madhushankar, Dean, Faculty of Indigenous Health Sciences and Technology. And also, uh, Dr. Ranuka Hevage, Head of the Department of uh, Indigenous Medicinal Resources. And uh, Mr. Charund Balasuriya, uh, Head of the Department of Indigenous Health Sciences. And also uh, Dr. Asanka Pallavatta, uh, head of the uh, director of Career Guidance Center, and also the head of uh, senior lecturer in uh, Department of Technology, and Dr. Naini Darnagama, senior lecturer in Department of Technology, and also uh, Mr. Shamika Vijayvardhana, the senior assistant registrar establishment, also Ms. Uh, Ayu Vijayatungarachi, who is uh, the Assistant Registrar of Faculty of Indigenous Health Sciences and Technology. And also I would like to welcome all the senior academics and all the academics and also all the demonstrators and all the uh, supporting staff. I would like to conclude the speech about this uh, motive, step to KO. So I think this is a very good theme that which uh, goes through the, throughout the year. Now, as the biomedical students, what you have, what are you, what you are going to do to prevent this? So, on that remark, I would well, I would warmly welcome everyone to uh, this event. Right? Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. We would like to show the memory lane of Septic Year 22.
let us now welcome a man who does not need an introduction and who is known among all of us for his wisdom and knowledge. I would like to invite our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Ranjala Vikrama Selavidatna on the stage and will request him to share his thoughts on this day. Samarasinghe, uh, the academics, uh, officers and the dear students. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me to this uh, very important program. So why I said very important is uh, for any speech, any topic, one would say something is very important when you come to the occasion. But this is very important because one in six approximately one in six people in the world is affected by diabetes. So it's a major threat to human civilization, the existence of our civilization. For example, my parents are both diabetic and myself will get probably one of these days uh, because of my levels, I have not treated the level yet, but I am bound to get. So, so as many of you. So it's a disease which affects people badly. It affects it ages people. Usually they say after 33 years, every year you lose your uh, abilities by 1%, organ functions, everything. And diabetes, that is you slowly go down after 33 years, but diabetes will get to a curve much shorter, particularly if it is uncontrolled. Because it affects all the systems, heart, brain, kidney and legs. It's going to uh, affect your system and take things down deteriorate your quality of life because you will have your kidney problems, heart attacks early and make you a less able person and also you may lose your legs early in life uh, and that can cripple your uh, earning power as well as your ability to enjoy remaining years of life. So this is a major major threat as I mentioned before. So we have to think of prevention. We all must try to avoid this and uh, let our patients, our people avoid this as much as possible or at least delay it as much as possible. And then we have to, once it develops, we have to be careful of it and cure it in patients by awareness and adequate medication and where technology also has a very important role to play. So I think uh, our university, our main con concern is about indigenous medicine and methods, although we develop that along with Western methods, we have uh, to, uh, uh, we, we have a lot to do in prevention side as well. You know, diabetes is related to bad food habits, Western diet, a lot of meat, fat, less vegetables, and also the lack of exercises. We go by vehicles whenever possible, that affect again diabetes. And I think more than that, uh, it's a stress factor. In life, the lifestyle we lead, very fast, very busy life we all lead. I know as students you may not feel that, you, know, you may feel now you are busy, but wait till three, four years goes and you will feel uh, how busy you are going to be and throughout your life your work schedules will become more and more busy. So that gives stress, adrenaline and the diabetogenic hormones will be always on the rise with the upcoming world which is going to be more stressful. So unless you uh, now indigenous medicine and our our other associated sciences like yoga, uh, we have meditation, uh, we have good food habits. All these things will uh, be able to calm an individual in mind and give him a physically more natural life, and that has a big, will have a big role to play once we develop those systems to delay diabetes or prevent it from coming. So once you have diabetes, then we have uh, other methods to assess the severity and how to control, again, your mental and physical discipline is very important, how to control the uh, progress of the disease. And of course, uh, we may be able to develop certain medication, as we all know, uh, recently from uh, Coaca, one of the indigenous medicine products, uh, the uh, professor in Ball Medical Faculty, they have extracted the relevant components 
and it seems to be effective in giving some reduction to blood sugar level, controlling diabetes. You may have heard that was in the news uh, over a few years who, by Professor Viratna was a member of the team uh, who is incidentally my classmate and batchmate and also staff mate from the Pune University. So, uh, finally, it is an important disease and first we have to understand it and there is a big role where we can play, a uh, big role which is evolving to reduce this disease burden down. I must again uh, thank all of you for organizing this and also I must uh, really thank uh, Dr. Samar Singh to take time off a busy schedule to attend uh, to our meeting because I think your time here will be fruitful for all university and I hope in the future events also uh, you will help us and participate in the university event. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your insightful words. We are uh, excited to hear some words by the Dean, Faculty of Indian Health Science and Technology. So, we kindly request Dr. N. G. B. Mabishanga to share his talk with the audience present here today. Thank you very much. Uh, and Dr. Uh, Angela. Vice Chancellor of the University and uh, Dr. Jain Samrazinghe, uh, the consultant and the in the Gampa uh, District Hospital, and uh, all the uh, academic staff members headed by senior academic heads here, and uh, all the senior heads of administrative staff uh, headed by uh, Mr. Prashant and uh, Mr. Potalawala and uh, my dear students uh, actually uh, thank you very much and I am uh, really appreciating your effort here because uh, it is very timely uh, event you have uh, organized here and uh, uh, at the uh, very outset of this program uh, Dr. Shalika Patiratna he was uh, stressing how important uh, uh, and how detrimental this issue is, uh, especially the diabetes, uh, because uh, he was referring to the speed it is getting a spread and uh, it is faster than a communicable disease now. Uh, it has enveloped the whole globe now, so uh, it is very uh, bad for the well being of uh, mankind. And at the same time, uh, Vice Chancellor, sir, he was referring to the, uh, the uh, uh, how detrimental this is to the uh, well being of the human and uh, I would like to stress one more factor here because uh, in all the cases of these uh, especially non-communicable uh, chronic diseases in in, in, uh, in vocation I am not a medical doctor but uh, we know in global agenda of controlling these uh, uh, non-communicable diseases most of the time the people have placed ICE information communication and education at the top of the uh, agenda. So, here you are practicing that because uh, you know uh, all are well aware of diabetes but still there are certain misconceptions around this topic uh, over the cause, or the management, over the uh, consequences of this uh, disease. So, uh, there is a crime need of good information, I mean truthful information, communication and education of that. So. We are doing that. You have uh, taken uh, uh, initiative under the theme of uh, a step to cure. Uh, I would say that uh, it is more than a step to cure. It is a step to prevention as well. And uh, to, uh, if my memory serves correct, uh, I think this time's World Diabetes Day uh, Day's uh, theme is education to protect tomorrow. So you are doing that here. And at the same time, there is another concern. You know, uh, uh, Dr. Gaini is also, I think, uh, well aware of this thing. Uh, as an institution, we are new. Our name is new. Our university's name is new. Our, our faculty's name is new. Our department's name is new. And the names of the programs you are offering here, those are new. So we need to uh, promote our visibility. We need to place our name everywhere in all the means of our communication, in all the communication channels. 
So my students' effort will uh, deliver that as well. So uh, this is your first effort. I think uh, in in uh, uh, in uh, the diabetes day of uh, 2023, they will come up with a mega project with a mega event. So I congratulate all of you and uh, thank you very much. Especially my special thank goes to uh, Dr. Gaini Samrasinghe for your presence here because uh, you are very resourceful to us. Uh, so uh, I would, uh, I hope and I believe you will uh, have a uh, like long-standing relationship with us and uh, you will uh, impart your expertise to for students and for academics as well. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. We feel really privileged to have your supervision with us at all time possible. Without you, all this would not have been possible. Dance is the most beautiful form of expression of human feelings. Dancers are the messengers of words. Next, I would like to invite some of our colleagues to entertain this ceremony.
vice chancellor and head of the department and all the academics um, and um, and all the students and i think it's a great privilege for me to i mean deliver a speech here uh, on this um, very important day the world diabetes day uh, and uh, i would like to thank uh, all the organizers for giving this opportunity to me uh, to talk on diabetes and so when i was invited i was just wondering whether i mean what to talk on diabetes um, within 10 minutes because diabetes is a vast area where you can go on talking and talking uh, for weeks or months or maybe years okay then still you can't finish because uh, it's a huge health and economic burden to the whole world and also it's a evolving field which is very important and so you have lot to learn every day Uh, so we all know uh, diabetes is on the rise, and it's a global health problem. And um, so in the whole world uh, now, uh, diabetes is increasing. And uh, so when it comes to uh, the uh, comes to our region and Southeast Asia, so we are at a particular high risk and because genetically and also because of our lifestyle, we are at a high risk compared to the. the western population so in the past we thought this is a disease in western population or rich people or in developing country but it's not true now and we are at a great risk and on the other hand uh, so we tend to develop more complications compared to the compared to them maybe because of the poor resources and also maybe because of our genetic uh, susceptibility Uh, and also we have uh, faced a huge challenge during last uh, one or two years because of uh, this covid pandemic because now uh, we see a lot of patients coming with uh, newly diagnosed diabetes or pre diabetes during this post covid era so still uh, we are not in the position to uh, i mean uh, tell whether this is directly related to the covid infection but we have seen that the diabetes has got aggravated with covid the infection and some people who had pre diabetes have converted to diabetes uh, because of the infection and the other thing is during uh, the covid uh, uh, pandemic we know we, uh, the our lifestyle changed a lot because we tend to i mean uh, uh, i mean work from home and uh, and we have minimized our exercise and our i mean everything has change and also especially the, the 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 way we eat also change during this post uh, during this covid uh, era and it's a big challenge uh, and it's not only in sri lanka but also in developing countries uh, still we are struggling to come out of this uh, pandemic related diabetic epidemic and uh, very importantly uh, now we see lot of uh, children are getting affected with diabetes in the past it was mainly type 1 diabetes but now we see lot of uh, patients uh, children coming with type 2 diabetes which is directly related to your obesity and also the adverse lifestyle so uh, it's very important to um, convey this message to the population and uh, i think this is a very great effort that you have taken today uh, because um, the children are our future so we have to protect them so uh, as parents so as adults we have to be aware about this and we should i mean uh, prevent from them getting uh, this nasty illness so um, it's i mean as i said before the diabetes is a long term illness so uh, you will be on treatment and you have to i mean obey all the Uh, uh i mean advices coming from the doctors and so it's a huge uh, problem for the uh, young people or the uh, children so but we have to remember it's, it's something we can prevent and it's all our fault if they are going to get diabetes um, in the future so um the second fact i want to discuss is 
we have to remember the major cause of death in diabetes is cardiovascular disease. Uh, now we know diabetes affects the um, many of the organs in the body, but um, at the end, the major cause of death is cardiovascular disease. So um, the all the treatment and the management protocols should aim at this problem to reduce the cardiovascular risk. Uh, So in, uh, now, uh, uh, unlike past, now um, in the present um, era, the most of the new developments or the new diabetes drugs, uh, the FDA has requested to do cardiovascular safety trials or studies uh, before um, releasing it for the use of patients. So all the treatments or, uh, related to diabetes should have this cardiovascular safety or cardiovascular benefit because uh, now we consider diabetes as a cardiovascular risk uh, equivalent. So we need to treat these patients as a patient who has already got heart attack or a stroke or any kind of a cardiovascular disease. So um, this is, um, I think uh, we, I don't have to uh, talk about this because I think you all are learning about these things now. So diabetes technology is aware, ever evolving. We know that uh, the, the great invention of insulin which was in I 1920s, now it's almost 100 years gone. And since then uh, there are so many drugs, insulin, non-injectable, uh, uh, oral hypoglycemic drugs and non-insulin injectables, so many things have come to the picture. And in addition, there are so many devices uh, which have come uh, to deliver insulin and also non-injectable um, uh, treatments. And in addition, there are a lot of um, advancements uh, has occurred in this field uh, to monitor these patients with uh, continuous glucose monitoring and so on. But the important thing is now we are in a uh, so-called developing country, we are far behind the other countries. I mean it's, it's really pity to see that uh, our patients are not receiving at least 5% uh, out of these services available uh, to uh, the patients living in the other part of the world. So I think um, now uh, uh, to be honest, today is the first time I heard about this faculty and it's a shame for me. And uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a great initiative and uh, so I think you can do a lot of things uh, to um, develop these things in our country as well. So it's a very good step, right? Uh, so uh, as I said, it's so not only for medications and also the monitoring devices and um, so it's uh, it's not a second to the other uh, any of the other illnesses because it's a uh, really evolving and a lot of researchers are coming into the picture. And uh, next important thing is whether all the patients have access to this diabetic care. Uh, now uh, it's a I mean maybe in um, developed countries uh, most of the patients have the equal chance to um, access to this care, but in Sri Lanka. Uh, we have seen that all, all the patients are not seeking uh, medical advice at the correct time and also even if they uh, go, uh, it's a question whether they receive the maximum care or the optimal care uh, given by the medical team. So when it comes to diabetes management, it's always a multidisciplinary teamwork because um, uh, the, the patient is the most important person and around him there's a team including um, a diabetologist or nutritionist or diabetic education nursing officer and podiatrist, maybe surgeon. So a lot of people are involved. So uh, it's a uh, so patient also um, should play a major role uh, in the management of diabetes. So when it comes to the patient, most important thing is the education. So if he is aware about his illness, so he can protect his tomorrow and he can control his diabetes. Uh, 
So I think diabetes is something we can stop. So you can prevent diabetes definitely because you can get adhere to a uh, good lifestyle and then you can prevent obesity and in turn diabetes. And uh, the other thing is even if you get diabetes, the disease that you can control and you can um, get control of the disease and then minimize the associated complications. And most importantly, you can reverse diabetes also. Now there are um, several important studies have come to the picture and they have proved that diabetes is a disease which can go into remission. So it's really uh, encouraging uh, and uh, you can always motivate your patient and you can tell your patients that this is not a I mean, lifelong disease, this is not the end of your life. So you, you still have hopes, so you can reverse diabetes. So this is the message um, I want to give uh, to you all on this very special day. Thank you very much. That was indeed motivating and inspiring. We will surely remember your words. Thank you so much, Doctor. Diabetes is a serious illness that touches the lives of so many of our family members, friends and communities and we must do all that we can do to raise the awareness of this disease. I would like to invite our dear colleague Amali Nishankar to speak a few words about diabetes. The downward for all happiness is having a good health. Good morning to all. Wishing you all the sweetness in life and not in blood. Today, as biomedical students, we organized an awareness program with World Diabetes Day, which is on 40th of November. I think that uh, you have idea about this diabetes. Uh, this is a chronic and catastrophic disease and uh, this is chronic and disease and uh, there is no different cure for diabetes. There are nearly 10 percentage of global adult population suffering from diabetes. Your bad food habit, your bad food habits and lifestyle factors, higher weight, as well as genetic conditions can cause this. There are mainly two types of diabetes. They are type one and type two. Uh, I think that uh, you have a rough idea about this diabetes because Madam expected it, uh, and most diabetic patients. Uh, have type 2 diabetes. Healthy eating, regular exercise and medication can control it. Uh, you can eat anything, but you should be careful about the content of the food that you eat and keep your body healthy. Thank you and have a nice day. Amali for the information share. It is time for us to end today's event and in order to present an appreciation and gratitude to all those who made this morning grand success. I request Dr. D. A. N. G. Dharanagama to propose a lot of thanks. Good afternoon to ladies and gentlemen and also my dear students. It is pleasure for me to deliver a lot of thanks on the blooming day of the Biomedical Technology Degree Program. First of all, I would like to thank our founding Vice Chancellor, Her Excellency, founding 
Vice Chancellor Excellency, the Ambassador of Sri Lanka to the Russian Federation, Professor Janita Ayaliyanage, who is the strength of our every success, witness on today and also tomorrow. Then, I would like to thank uh, to our Vice Chancellor, Professor Anjana Vikram Senevirakuna, thank you very much, sir, for your support. And my very special thanks goes to Chief Guest, Dr. Gayali Samarasingha, Endocrinologist, Gampaha District Hospital, accept our invitation within very short time and gave us a valuable and educational speech. Thank you so much, Doctor. I extend my heartfelt thanks to the Dean of the Faculty, Dr. Bhagyan Peruma, and the Head of the Department, Dr. Shalika Padiratna, for giving us courage and the spirit for this program. And I take to immense pleasure to extend my sincere thanks to the Registrar, the Bursa and the Senior Assistant Registrar and Assistant Registrar of the Faculty and other non-academic staff who support us to success this event. And special thanks to Mr. Madhara and ICT Centre for the support of media and technical support. And it is special to express my thanks to Program Coordinator of the BMT Program, Ms. Kasuri Balasuriya and Advisory Committee and the Organizing Committee of the World Diabetic Day event and all the academic and non-academic members in the Department of Technology. And dear students, uh, we are appreciated your enthusiasm, courage, dedication and the commitment to perform this glorified function within very short time. I think I announced it within 14 days, you success this event, nearly 14 days period. So we are really proud of you. Finally, I would like to thank all the audience in here making this function as a grand success. Once again, I thank one and all present in here and thank you so much. And also, I would like to invite our students' exhibition um, going on uh, after this function. Please visit students' talents and encourage them. Thank you so much. We couldn't have done it without you, madam. Thank you, madam, for being our rock. We pray for your blessing with all humanity. Give us the wisdom to make this country a better place. To evoke feeling of patriotism and remind you of the nation's glory and beauty. I request you all to stand up in respect to our national anthem. Sri Lanka, Lanka, Oh, <laughs> 
Now we have come to the end of our ceremony. Nevertheless, we have very special event waiting for us in the Department of Technology Premises. Our college will escort you to the premises. Enjoy today's proceeding and have a nice day.